Does he look after his kids though? I'm, I have started this kind of yeah. How many men do you think look after their kids? Because you are a man that loves to pipe up I've never given and talk it. about I've this. never given it. Shall, go, wait, shall I go back to the message no, that you posted online? Go on. About... Bit of baby mothers. Bit of baby mothers, yeah? Mm-hmm. So tell me what you think is a bit bitter baby mother. But this mother. is what a battery that you're doing. But go on. I'll, no, no, no. What's a, what's, what's a bitter baby mother? A bitter baby mother is someone who doesn't love the child more than they hit the dad. So your message says, Dear bitter baby mothers, yeah. all real dads... Want. want is to be included in our baby's lives. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, our kids want us in their lives too. Try loving the baby more than you hate us. Just a thought. Yeah. What's that about? That's me. exactly what it says. It's just a thought. <sighs> maybe you're just shit. Maybe, maybe. you're annoying. Maybe you maybe. you just cr- criticise everything that I do. But, I'm not, but how am I with my child? Because this is the point, just the relationship that's important here. Not with you. You can see me as all those things. I don't care. You're right. I am shit. I am annoying. But I you cheated on me. Yeah, I you did. didn't respect yeah, me. I did. And that's why I left. But I want to see my you. I should be able to see my you. But you have because when the woman does all, when the woman does all those things to the man, she still gets to see her you. Yeah, because I'm the primary carer. Exactly. So it should be balanced. That's why what I you just came in, you squirted the thing, the child came, yeah. and now you want bare. I want to look after my child. Yeah, I want to take on my responsibility. Because I was and then you want to take the child to your woman's house. No, I said yes, nothing. Yes, you do. Oh, so, so your boyfriend don't come to the house. I don't know about my boyfriend. Fair enough. <laughs> this is what I mean. This is the double standard. Because how I am as a boyfriend doesn't reflect me as a dad. Oh, as you are as a partner, I suppose. Yeah. So how are you as a dad? If I was my kids. And what would your kids say? Friends between yours. <laughs> <laughs> I think generally I'm all right. I mean, I've got some issues, baby mother drama and whatnot, but that's not the case. So do you blame the baby mother or do you blame you? I take some ownership of the baby, but I do blame the baby mother because I think if you encourage a relationship regardless, the kids, you, the kids, kids are sponges, isn't it? And if you put good water into that sponge, then good's going to come out of it. If you put bad water into it, nothing but dirt's going to come out of it. So if you're sitting there bashing me, it's only natural that you're going to Bash me as well. So what's the worst thing a baby mother can do? Not let you see your child. Because she's got issues with you to the, in the relationship you had. I, could, I should be able to walk out of the house today. If I'm with you, mm. I can't want to be in one go. You might not understand why I left. Mm. You might never understand. I should still be able to see my kid. I believe. I struggle. You could be pissed at me for the rest of your life that I just left. But I didn't leave my child. So why can't I see? Because I left you now, I've got to not see my kid no more. But also, I find that sometimes you guys come in and out when you want to. So when you're on this high horse and you want to be dad of the year, you come in. I think you're, but you I flag think, your flag. I you bring your gifts. You bring your trainers. You do all this you're shit. You're describing a different person. That's not me. I'm describing 90% of the men out there. I'm not 90% of the men. I'm only me. I can't speak for them. I, when That's why I wrote in my, in my post, they're bitter baby mothers. I didn't write they're baby mothers. Because not all of you that are bad. So what makes a, a baby mother bitter? You have to ask them. I don't know. What, what, what do I perceive? Is it because you've given them false hope? Maybe no. you entered the situation, you promised them things that you didn't deliver. Mm, no. When even if I, and even if I did, that shouldn't affect my child. My relationship. This is what girls need to understand. The child. Where's the camera? You are not the child. The child is not you. The relationship I've got with my daughter is not the same relationship I've got with her mum. They're two different people. All so right. because I treated you bad in a relationship, if I wasn't abusive to you and I'm not a sexual predator, there should be no reason why I can't see my child. This is what bugs me out. Some women, when I put the post up, women were saying, what if he doesn't help financially? Cool. So you're going to cut him off and not get no money from him anyway. And then you don't see the dad. Yeah. If you're going to do it without no money from the, from the man and he wants to see his child, let him spend an hour and a half in the park with her then. Mm. They need their father in the, involved. And secondly, you don't even know the man's, because he's not telling you what his financial position is, he can't see the child. He might be on his face and embarrassed and need to pick himself up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not all about peas, man. Time. But it's a lot to do with peas because raising a child is peas. No, I hear When I that. go to after school club, I can't tell I them. I feel you. I'm not, I'm not, oh, listen, a dad's on the face. Dad's don't get, face, don't get or, it wrong. You know, I'm not saying that it's not about peas. It's big I'm time I'm saying peas. that that should not be a reason why he can't see his kid. But I just feel you lot want to come in for the good times because at the end of the day... The, What's the good time? The good times are going to the park for the hour because that's not realistic. The realism is when I have to get up in the morning and she's giving me help yeah, but to the, get all right, ready the, all right, and I, the bedtime routine and listen she don't want to eat. I hear what you're saying. 
But if you won't let me get access to it, to him or her, you can't chastise me for doing something that I physically can't do. I don't live with you. But you could come and do the bedtime routine. You could come with and... you. You're understanding that. That's not most women. If you're not fully in, they're not on you in their house. They got their boyfriends and they're thinking of because remember the boyfriends on the scene now. You better follow down there, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? We're yeah. dealing with that. So if I cannot come there, if I met you and you had my child and you were saying to me, "You got no problem, you coming to put into to bed at night," you wouldn't get you. There probably would be no bit of it. And do time. you think that most women allow for that, or is the majority quite better? I think if you're not with the woman, ninety nine point nine times out of ten, you're gonna have issues with the child. You might make that one unicorn that's going to be cool and loud. <laughs> but other than that, I think women hold the key to most of in society. I feel like contraception should be the woman's responsibility. No, it shouldn't. I do. Why is it that you should just be able to bust bare no, back? No, not because bust bare back. If a man, if we will do whatever you say when our wood's hard and we're going to put it in. If you insist that you put a condom on, we will put no, a condom on. No, you're not. You're going to say, oh, what no, you man? want it to feel good. But then no pussy then. So you're saying I should get all hot and bothered. We've had this conversation. You say because you're going to put the dog on. It is here what I'm saying, yeah? We woman will run me. Why did you fuck her without a condom? Yes, she let me. Are you mad? Why didn't she stop me then? How's it not? How's it? How's it no onus on you? Because you have had been a father three times. Yeah. Why is it that you not thought I don't want to do this again? No, I hear that. But like why I said, have you not at the heat why of the moment, you let your penis leave you at the you? heat of the moment. You've you don't penis understand what it's like having a penis. I don't understand. Tell me what it's like to have a penis. Then. It's like another person chatting to you. <laughs> Like, so, like he's not about all the day, all day. Then he takes over, and he's like, "Yo, we're doing this enough, big man. Yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this. 